Watch Dr. Drew's new show at 9 on HLN. Weeknights on HLN. Thanks for joining us. I am still with my guest, Erin Brockovich, and her compatriot, Bob Bocock. And Bob, you're the, you're the scientist. You're an inorganic chemist, right? Is that right? Or a geologist? No, or... I, no civil engineer. Term. Civil engineer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so with a lot of chemical experience. And you yes. guys have worked together how long? Too long. Uh, about, about 15 years. <laughs> did you work on the Hinkley thing together? Was that... Yeah, we actually yeah. did. Yeah. And so, and you on the show tonight, you, you, Bob, were saying that this is unlike anything you've seen before in terms of the magnitude of the toxic spill and waste and lack of response and lack of cleanup. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we've seen a lot of TCE and PCE, you know, solvent type cases yeah. around the country, but never um, in this concentration. And certainly, I mean, th th by their own description, New York um, Department of Environmental Conservation and the United States Environmental Protection Agency call this the largest TCE spill in the state of New York. And I understand just before you came in here tonight, the Environmental, excuse me, Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, you were on the phone with them and they told you what? This is a big headline. They said what? Well, they, they basically admitted that, you know, it's been a while since they've been out there. They haven't even updated the, the case since 2008. Um, that there has been uh, the, the responsible party's contractor, Unicorn Consultant, had been out on the site. Um, that it, indeed, that there are. Um, did they drop the ball? They pretty much dropped the did ball. Did they Dr. admit Dr. that they dropped the ball? They they they, uh, they didn't say we dropped the ball, but they said it's been a long time. So yeah, they actually kind of did say they dropped the ball. They, they, it's oh. been four years since they've been out there. And Aaron, what do we do with all this? To just keep going, looking for answers, to help these families with these kids. Oh, we have to. It's, it's extremely frustrating. And I've been talking about this for years with communities. This is what I've been doing for 21 years. Is so there a we, website or something that people can go to? People go to my website, which is Aaron at Brockovich.com. Aaron at Brockovich.com. Right. And do you have also your other concerns there about the greater issue of water safety in this country? Is that Absolutely. Okay. And I have created, uh, in conjunction with Google, and it will be going up live here in a few months, um, a map where it's the People's Reporting Registry, where they can actually report these problems that are going on. And what we can do is run queries. You know, people may be reporting from 13 other states that they have a similar problem, but unbeknownst to them and me, they're all from the same state. And so the map has become very, very useful. And this is a problem that is plaguing the United States of America. One last thing. Uh, when are you going to tell us or regale us with your data about the other cases that have been springing up, the little outbreaks of cancer, the other cases of neurological uh, symptoms that you're hearing about that are coming to you by the hundreds, you said, uh, from Caledonia, the, lo the city nearby, and from Leroy. When are we going to get that data? Hopefully really very soon. I'm getting ready to leave the country. I'm going to be giving a lot of the data to Bob, and Good. we'll very quickly so go Bob, through I'll, it. So, Bob, I'll be and, on uh, your yeah. butt about this. Uh, <laughs> and and you, i got a staff back home that's doing it right good now. and then yeah, you have so and you it and takes us some time okay of course and you, i want it to, to be really in. good data guys oh, yeah. i'm sure you do too absolutely. and then you'll have the soil samples in about three weeks and water. Water. Water, water samples, samples. Water. okay water. and then we're trying to get the soil vapor extraction from the epa well, well, what we'll do, is, do is, is soils analysis and soil vapor stuff you're going to be doing in the spring. Right now the ground's frozen. Yeah, we're waiting for it. So we may not have the full story for quite some time. Um, I've always said it's going to be about June mm -hmm. for a complete, it, it complete takes, picture. Yes, June before the Oh, my goodness. It can take time. Well, well smoking it, gun might still come up. You know, in the right, meantime, in the yeah, meantime. from the water. Yeah. To do a uh, thorough job, we're looking at June. Okay. And, uh, I think if, soil vapor intrusion is so clearly one of the most important factors. Too. If somebody maybe 10 years ago, or back when, actually when I watched Julia Roberts playing you in the, in the theaters, uh, asked me what I'd probably be doing in 2012, probably the very last thing on my list would have been teaming up with Aaron Brockovich to, to, to evaluate <laughs> yeah. a medical mystery in the substate uh, New York. I, I, I wouldn't have put I that high on my list. I don't want to burst your bubble here, but, Dr. Drew. But, but I tell you what, these medical mysteries play themselves out all over the Well, uh, but I want you to know it's, been, it's, a, it's a privilege, and I I'm, oh, I'm well. really feel like we're doing we're something a, important here. We're very here. privileged that you're involved so. as well, and I know the community is too. Well, thank you.